Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on our Math Pop Words game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math and puzzle games to play, as well as teaching tools to use, and there's never any membership or sign required, and everything's free to play and use. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click the instructions button and it gives you instructions on how to play but it also tells you a little bit about this reset button but uh, I'll show you how that works and let's go ahead and click reset and it says you really want to reset the high scores I'm gonna go say yes and it says scores are reset now you might want to do that when somebody else has been playing before you and it has a bunch of high scores on there and you want to reset it back to zero or if you've been playing for a while and you just want to reset it back to zero you can go ahead and do that and this is where you do it and let's go ahead and click back now this menu is only available when you first start the game so if you want to reset the scores you'll have to do that when you first come in because there's no back button and you can't get to that menu from here. This is the uh, music button and this toggles the music on and off. And this is a sound button. It turns off all sound off or on. Off or on. Now in this particular configuration, the music's off, the sound is on, so that basically would be where you would hear the sound effects but no music. The video button here will take you to the page on mathnook.com it has this video in case you want to watch that again and um, this is the uh, this describes the level of the words that you'll get when you play the hard level has the hardest math words but it also includes all the medium and easy level words and the medium level has a uh, medium level uh, I guess medium level difficulty of words and but it also includes the easy level and then the easy level has the basic math words now this is a hangman type game where when you guess trying to get, you'll be trying to figure out what the word is by guessing letters and if you get the letter right it'll fill in the where the where the where it goes in the word if you get it wrong hit math pup here his fuel goes down and he drops down a little bit further and if he runs out totally runs out of fuel he will be caught by the dog catcher here and I'll show you how that works here is the word moving the opposite direction is the hands on a clock now that should be counterclockwise but let's go ahead and guess some letters here and you'll see them as i guess the letters that they fill in up there and if i guess one wrong you'll see that the fuel map up fuel goes down he drops down a little bit closer to the um, dog catcher there now the saved here refers to your score, and that's really it, when you how much fuel you saved. And the best is your best running total of all your scores that you get before a math pup is caught by the dog catcher. So let's go ahead and complete this word counterclockwise. Uh, let's see which ones I haven't got, and there we go. Go ahead and get the next puzzle and answer to a subtraction problem would be the difference but let's go ahead and i'll show you what happens when he got when he gets math pup gets caught and we're down to two. Oh, that's in there now the last one i would need to fill out this word totally to keep going or if I get it wrong, he gets caught by the dog catcher and he's in his cage. And it tells you what the answer is here. So play again. We'll back out. And it tells me that the, the most highest I got, there's my high score. The best I've got so far in a row was six. It only did that one. Let's go ahead and jump out to the main menu and I'll show you what the hard level is like. In an up, down, direction, or position. Now I'm not sure what this is, so I'm going to have to. Um, ah, vertical. So that is a probably a little bit more difficult word. I'm not sure if that's actually a medium, a hard level word, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the next one. It'd be adjacent. So that gives you an idea of what words you might run into. But you will sometimes, and I'll go ahead and show you, sometimes on the hard level you'll get some easy words, 
baker's dozen that should be 13 so that is probably medium or easy word there so that shows you how the hard level works and mediums uh, words and a little bit uh, in between those two so anyways i hope you uh hope you enjoy this game i hope the uh, uh hope this video has helped some and thanks for watching